Hola beautiful people. How are you all? I hope you are all fine. Today I have come with a very simple yet delicious Indian curry which is cooked almost across various states in India depending on the region and individual taste. Yes. That is Ivy God or Tindura recipe. There are many variations to this recipe, but I'll be telling you the most simplest way which hardly takes 30 minutes of your time, making it apt for your everyday meals. It has so many names depending upon the various parts of the country. Kundru in Hindi, Tindura in Gujarati, Kovakai in Tamil, Dandakai in Telugu, and so on. It's a great side dish which goes well with a variety of Indian staples and it's a great vegetable to incorporate in your diet as it is high in fiber, beta carotene and other essential nutrients. There are many different ways in which it can be cooked and is a very healthy option to make it as a side dish for any Indian style meal. Pair it with dal, rice or chapati for a healthy meal. In South India, it is most commonly served as a side dish with sambar rice. The ingredients used in this recipe are very basic and something that you will already have in your kitchen. This is one of the recipe which I have learned from my amma and me and my brother used to enjoy it. Let's start. First of all, wash and clean the ivy gourd and cut the both ends. Slice them in half and then half again. Total in 4 thin strips vertically. Let's look into the ingredients. We will require 2 large onions, 2 big tomatoes, 350 grams of ivy gourd, 4 garlic cloves, 1 piece of ginger, 5 green chilies, turmeric, coriander and salt to taste. We will now make a puree of onions, tomatoes, ginger, garlic and green chilies. Let's make. So here you can see while making the puree, I have added 1 teaspoon of coriander powder, 1 teaspoon of cumin powder and 1 and a half teaspoon of red chilli powder. Adjust your spice levels according to your taste. Here let me give you a tip. Don't add turmeric at this point of time because while you are making puree in a mixy jar, if you add turmeric, it leaves a yellow tint in your mixy jars. We'll add the turmeric while we make the curry. My puree is now ready. Let's start making the curry. Now take a white pan and heat some oil. Now add the puree which we have prepared. Saute the puree thoroughly till you get rid of the smell of both onion and garlic. Now cover the lid for about 2 minutes till the oil separates from the puree. Now you can see the puree has started sticking to the bottom of the pan that means it has cooked nicely. Now add some turmeric at this point of time so that it gives really a nice color and start mixing it together. Now add half a cup of water to the puree. Yes, this is the same water which I have used to scrape the remaining whatever was left in my jar just tossed it and now using it in my curry yes it sounds like a typical Indian mom yes I am here I'm adding some Kashmiri red chilli powder just to give a nice color to my curry add the chopped ivy gourd and mix it for a while and cover the lid for about 15 to 20 minutes or till cooked but make sure you check it every 2 to 3 times while cooking here I'm adding little bit of oil so that it doesn't stick at the bottom
Remove the lid in between and give it a nice mix. Always cook this curry on a low to medium flame. Now add some salt and mix it well. It's cooked beautifully and now add the chopped coriander and give it a nice mix. Lastly, I'm adding half a teaspoon of garam masala to it just to give a nice flavor. Now our delicious and side dish curry is ready to serve. Voila! It looks amazing, right? Yes, I can't wait to dig in. I also added a little bit of dry coconut powder to give it that South Indian touch. This delicious ivy gourd recipe requires only few ingredients. The only time consuming part is cutting the vegetable. Once it is done, then everything can be done fast. The spices and all you can adjust as per your needs. As I have already mentioned that this side dish goes well with sambar rice or rasam rice and even with curd rice and you can also have it as a snack as me and my son do. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to tap the bell icon. Bye guys!